Today, we delve into a fascinating topic involving the James Webb Space Telescope and its recent discoveries. It concerns a hypothesis that could revolutionize our understanding of dark matter, one of the great mysteries of cosmology. We are the Astro Geeks, your channel for astronomical trivia and news. And to support us, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and leave a like to strengthen our community. So let's get to the video. Before we address the possible discovery, it is essential to understand the model that shapes our universe. Known as the Lambda CDM model, it incorporates dark energy, Lambda, and dark matter, CDM, as its main components. Around 25% of the universe is made up of dark matter. The great challenge surrounding dark matter is our inability to detect it directly. The name dark comes from the fact that it remains unknown and invisible. Although we can't observe it directly, we can identify its gravitational effects on large scales. Researchers some time ago proposed an intriguing hypothesis to explain dark matter. The theory suggests that dark matter may be formed by new elementary particles, and one of these particles is known as WIMPs, weakly interacting massive particles. And this is where it gets interesting. Within the group of WIMPs, there are particles called neutralinos, which could constitute dark matter. These particles have the ability to annihilate each other, generating a large amount of heat in the process. And this generation of heat could lead to the formation of dark stars. According to the hypothesis, for these stars to exist, they must have been born at the beginning of the universe, approximately 300 to 400 million years after the creation of the universe. It's worth remembering that in this context, we're taking into account that the universe is 13.7 billion years old and not the possible 26.7 billion years of Gupta's theory, and if you still don't know what I'm talking about, I invite you to check out our video, where we cover in detail the new theory that raises the possibility that the universe may be twice as old as we thought. Just click on the card above to watch the video and explore this exciting idea. Through the James Webb Space Telescope, an incredible project that observes the early universe, intriguing observations have been made. What was initially identified as three galaxies turned out to be something more complex. The objects observed had characteristics of luminosity, temperature and behavior that distinguished them from ordinary galaxies. It is therefore believed that these objects may be the first dark stars observed by mankind. The three objects observed would be supermassive stars, the three candidate stars are, Jades, GS, Z13-0, Jades, GS, Z12-0, and Jades, GS, Z11-0, which were initially identified as galaxies in December 22, by the Jades project. But using spectroscopic analysis the JADES team confirmed that the objects were sighted at times ranging from 320 to 400 million years after the Big Bang, thus becoming one of the first objects ever observed in the history of the universe, which makes them remarkable objects in the context of the universe. When analyzing the data generated by James Webb, there are two competing possibilities for these objects. One is that they are galaxies containing millions of stars common to population 3. And the other is that they are dark stars. Believe it or not, one dark star has enough light to compete with an entire galaxy, because of the wimps that are annihilating and generating this enormous amount of energy. In theory, dark stars can grow to several million times the mass of our sun and be up to 10 billion times brighter than the sun, which is why they can shine so brightly in the images taken by James Webb. These possible dark stars represent a milestone in the quest to understand dark matter. Dark stars were first published in 2008. Since then, scientists have been striving to gather more evidence about these intriguing cosmic objects. Surprisingly, the James Webb telescope may not only have found the dark stars, but it could also be the first time we have directly encountered dark matter. In this hypothesis, dark matter would be made up of particles called WIMPs. 
And when these wimps collide and annihilate each other, they could give rise to these mysterious stars. These supermassive stars could shed light on the enigma that science has been facing for decades. It's important to note that the discovery is still at an early stage. Astronomy requires detailed and rigorous analysis to confirm the presence of dark matter in dark stars. Even so, the James Webb Space Telescope has played a crucial role in providing insights that could shape our understanding of the universe. The recent discovery of possible dark stars by James Webb has brought excitement and anticipation to the scientific community. The possibility of identifying dark matter through these stars is intriguing and reinforces the continued importance of space exploration in the search for cosmic knowledge. Do you believe that James Webb may really have found the first evidence of dark matter in the universe? Share your opinion in the comments, we want to know. We eagerly await further research and analysis that could confirm or refine this discovery and potentially take us one step closer to unraveling the mystery of dark matter in the universe. In the meantime, the James Webb Space Telescope continues to illuminate the depths of the cosmos, offering valuable glimpses into our origins and the workings of the universe at its most fundamental scale. If you enjoyed the video and want to see more content that explores the secrets of the cosmos, don't forget to like it, share it with your astronomy-loving friends and, of course, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on anything new. Astronomy is an incredible journey, and here at AstroGeeks, we are committed to bringing the universe to you in an exciting and accessible way. Thank you for embarking on this journey with us, and see you in the next video.